content creation duo by the name of Abba and Preach raised hypothetical questions to their mothers in one of their videos. They each asked their mothers, if someone were to unalive you, would you want me to take revenge? Both of their mothers answered almost identically. You know, uh, I'm actually curious. Let me call my mama right now. Hello. Hello, so I didn't did this. What? I'm going to get my legal number. Is she? Is she? Hidden situation, okay? Reality at the okay? Okay. Is she? And so, and she could get the list. If you had a choice, she'd have a choice. And she, and then, is that the good deal? And so, Lenny could get the link. Ah. And now, and then, McFall revenge my letter. Ah. No. No? No. Lemon. Lemon. Ah, she. Lemon. No. Okay. My mom said, hey, listen, if I die, it's my time. But you said, Allah will get them. Yeah, no, that's what I understand. Hey, I'm going to ask you. What? Imagine, you have a monsieur. The monsieur te tue toi. Est-ce que tu voudrais que moi je tue le monsieur? Te tue le monsieur? Ouais. Pourquoi? Ben, je suis déjà morte. Même si tu tues le monsieur, ça ne me pas. Moi, je suis déjà morte. Now, what I think we're witnessing is the politically correct answer, which is the knee-jerk reaction to the idea that you may be judged for what your true sentiment is. You don't know who's on the phone listening and whatever else might be running through your mind when someone else calls with an out-of-the-blue question like that. Now, the reason they asked their mothers this question was because of a news story where a man did just that. Took revenge, that is. But what if you were to pose the question differently? See, it's not about the idea of revenge being so bad sometimes. It's that you limit their options to themselves. But if you were to rebrand your vengeance under a different set of circumstances, you might be surprised at the response you get. So what better way to test this theory than to try it out on my own mother? Let's give her a call. Mama. Hello. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, you ain't you don't recognize the number. That's why you running from it, huh? I ain't no running from it. I don't answer no number that I don't recognize. I ain't running. I don't want to be bothered with telemarketers. You want to sell your house? Or I don't want to be bothered with that. Well, I'm calling about your extended car warranty. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, so somebody killed this guy's mom. Mm -hmm. And her son, I think the next day, went and took the guy out. Let's just say in some hypothetical world, some guy took you out. Would you want your <laughs> sons to take revenge? Nope. Why? Well, because there's too many variables about it. Because first of all, it's intentional. And I wouldn't want my son to end up in prison because that's not the way they're going to see it. When okay. you go to trial or what, that's not the way they're going to see it. Okay, now and let's they ain't gonna say... bring me back. So notice, my mother responds the same way Abba and Preach's mother responds. She says, no. Then she goes on to say, it won't bring me back. Hmm. So let's see what happens when I switch things up. Let's say in a hypothetical world mm -hmm. that there was no way that your sons would go to jail. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hmm? Okay. Tell me. <laughs> no way that no. your sons would go to jail. And okay. this killer <laughs> vowed that they weren't going to stop at mom. They were going to go after the grandbabies. And we have this killer right here in our sights. It is like, you ready? It, they're right there. And the police said, listen, we, we ain't about to do anything. We passed a law called I for an eye law. Somebody does something to your family, you could do whatever. You were really going off the rails, okay? I'm saying. <laughs> you know, what would you say? to that 
<laughs> well, what if we if we take them out? What if uh, the world is going to end in in one week? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> so okay, well, what about this? Would you want us to take revenge? Okay, no. But what if we didn't take revenge? And an angel said, if you don't take revenge, the whole world is going to end in one week. Have you been asleep at all? Uh, are, you, are you hyped up on caffeine? <laughs> no. I mean, just let me know. Hmm, didn't make too much headway with that approach, but let's see if we could switch things up to get to the response we're looking for. Now, what if it did bring you back? Oh my gosh, I gotta go down. Yeah, so you you gotta ask that. Well what if if we took them out, it would bring you back. Then would you want us to do it? <laughs> I don't know if you would want to be around somebody that died and then came back. I'm say I'm saying if if the miracle of them dying and then coming back I mean for real, it could be anything. Less than Less, nobody's saying that you gotta come back mangled and stuff or be buried. I'm saying, let's just say that somebody killed his mama. He walks in and the killer's still right there. Mm -hmm. And in this particular world, if you kill the person that killed your loved one, they'll automatically come back to life, but that person is dead. But you have to do it within 24 hours. Okay. Tell you. <laughs> and the killer's right there in the house and you have a gun trained on him. Would you want, would, would, would you want revenge? Go ahead, do what you gotta do, child. Do what you gotta do, child. <laughs> <laughs> so, you heard it for yourself. Kill the SOB. Do what you gotta do, child. And you know what they say, mom knows best. So who am I to argue with that? All right. You're all with you. Go on with your creative self. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye.